wish you that. Amen. Great morning, everybody. Great morning. Good morning. We are grateful to be here to lift up the name of Jesus. Truly, God is a good God, and his mercy is everlasting. His truth endures to all generations. We are a great people who serve a great God and the God that blesses us and keeps us even from falling. We are truly thankful and grateful to be here this morning. Truly, God is good. Come on, y'all. Let's give God a hand clap. Amen. He's a good God. He's a good God. We're going to start our consecration prayer. Amen. And then we're going to go into our service. Amen. Truly, God, we bless you. We thank you. Because you are an awesome and a mighty God. Oh, God, there is none like you, none in heaven and earth, that is able to do the things that you do. For God, you do them so great. You do them so marvelous. And you do them so wonderfully. You do them so awesome. And we bless you and we thank you. Because you are good and your mercy is everlasting and your truth endures to all generations. So today, God, we come in here to uplift your name and to give you glory and honor for who you are. Knowing that you are the God of Isaac and you are the God of Abraham. You are the God of our fathers and our mothers and our grandparents. You've never changed. And God, we bless you. We thank you. We thank you for the good and we thank you for the bad. We thank you for our ups and we thank you for our downs. We thank you, God, for our issues and all our troubles, knowing that you are able to fix them. For you are God and there is none like you. And we bless you today. We come in here, God. With, oh God, expectations. We come in here, God, knowing that you're able to fix everything that needs to be fixed. We bless you and we glorify you. God, we magnify your name. We are imperfect people coming to serve a perfect God. Yes, sir. A God that is able to do exceedingly abundantly yes. above all that we can ask or even think. For you are the great I am, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are the God that has never lost a battle. And God, we bless you today. We thank you for who you are and what you've done. For you've done some great and mighty things. And God, we give you glory. Yes. And God, we give you honor. Amen. And we give you the praise because it belongs to you. We thank you, God, for every opportunity and every chance that you've given us. We thank you for allowing us this day to have life, yes, health, God. and strength. Yes. To be in our right mind. Yes, to God. be able, God, not just to be able to come in here to serve you, but to serve to serve you, God, with good intentions and, yes. oh, God, the right emotions and the yes, right God. mind. We thank you, God, for giving us the right attitude and, God, most of all, the right spirit. Yes, God. We thank you because we know, God, that we can't find nobody like you. Yes, God. Nobody that has kept us and has blessed yes, us God. and delivered us and set us free. The God that is able to keep us from anything that comes against us. God, we bless you. We serve notice to the enemy today that he is alive. Yes, sir. And everything yes, that God. is about him, yes, God. we, oh God, denounce it. Yes, and we yes. speak life and we speak abundance over our children and yes, all those God. things, oh God, that you set forth for us to do. Yes. That we shall live and not die. Yes. And we shall declare every work that God you have assigned to us. We bless you. We ask that you bless our deacons and bless our musicians and bless our ushers and bless all those that are on their post today that, oh God, that need to carry out the assignment that you've assigned them to do. God, we thank you. Thank you. We bless you now in advance for this great worship experience. We ask that you bless those that are here and those that will be coming. Bless every guest and bless every child and bless every man and every woman and every boy. Bless every girl. And we ask God that you bless the preacher man today. Give him a word from oh high God. Yes, God. That minds and hearts and oh God, people will be changed. Yes. That they leave here not the way they came, but they be changed. We bless you. We thank you. We give you glory. And God, we give you the honor. Because yes, God. It to you. Yes, Lord. And that this is thy servant prayer. And all of God's people say amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Hallelujah. God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. To God be the glory. To God be the glory.
there. One moment. Again, that was Ecclesiastics, seventh chapter.
Hebrews chapter 10, and then we're going to look at verse 19. Verse 19 through 25. You have to say amen. Amen. Here's the King James Version says. Having therefore, brethren, boldness to enter into the boldness, into the holiest of the blood of Jesus, by a new and living way, which he hath consecrated for us through the veil, that is to say, his flesh, and having an high priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. Having our hearts sprinkled from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast. Somebody say, hold fast. Hold fast. The profession of our faith without wavering. Somebody say, without wavering. Without wavering. I like this part right here. Y'all ready? For he is faithful. That problem. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Verse 25 is here where we'll end not forsaking the assembling of ourselves together, as the manner of some is, but exhorting one another. And so much the more as you see the day approaching. Look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, neighbor. press on. Press on. Come on, look at somebody and say, neighbor, neighbor. press on. Press on. Press on. Press on. Press on. Press on. I cannot press on nails. Press on. God, I will thank you. I will bless you. I will praise you for your goodness, for your mercy, and for your love. Thank you, oh God, now for this time of fellowship. Thank you for the songs that have been sung, the prayers that have been prayed, the scriptures that have been read. Thank you for the worship that we've given you. I pray, oh God, that you will receive it and that, God, you will help us to continue to know that you are worthy of it all. I pray, oh God, now that this preaching moment and preaching time has drawn near, that you will lower me down to your storehouse of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Allow me, God, to speak a word that will speak to the issues of your heart, of the people's heart. I pray, oh God, to help me to not operate in flesh, to not operate in comrade. Help me, God, to stand in John's shoes and declare what it is that you have us to say today. We know that your word can save sinners. Your word can reclaim backsliders. Your word can encourage believers. Send your word, oh God. Someone here today needs to hear from you. Someone, oh God, is not sure what to do next, which way to turn, which decision to make. But thank you, oh God, for knowing that you are the one who can bring all things to our remembrance. And you are the one who takes care of us. Let the words of my mouth, the meditations of my heart, be acceptable in your sight. For God, you are my strength and my redeemer. Sustain me, O oh God. Sustain me, O oh God, so I can share your word. So in Jesus' name we pray for his sake. We ask all these things. Amen. 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 And amen. Bless you, you God bless you. We know that the grass withers, the flower fades, but the word of the Lord stands forever. God bless you. Thank God for you. Life. Life can be hard. Life can be hard. As a matter of fact, let's be honest, life is hard. Christians, believers, children of God will struggle. We are going to experience Difficult and hard times. I don't care how much you pray. I don't care how much you give in church. I don't care how much you come to church. Every one of us will experience struggle. But I've learned, beloved, I have learned that it's not about, Sister McCree, how you start. It's about how you finish. Amen. Have you ever seen a young couple in love? Yes, yes, yes. You see a, a young man, and he loves, I ain't say an old couple, I said a young couple. <laughs> I heard you big parents, I heard you. Look at all you want, you ain't young no more, bro. But you ever see 
<laughs> a young man, let's be honest for a second. I mean, I'm not talking about, um, I'm not talking about the faith stuff. I mean, you ever seen a man, they find a woman that he loves, and you will see that he will treat her differently mm-hmm. than he has treated any other woman. Mm-hmm. Come on, y'all go with me for a minute. Amen. Amen. And when a man loves a woman, and the woman knows that the man loves her. The woman, I know this for myself, will do anything. Come on, y'all. <laughs> for the man. And it's so beautiful, isn't it? This is, this, this, this is scripture. This is scripture. It's going to make sense in a minute. And when a woman and a young man love each other, it's so beautiful to see that. They smile at each other. They can be in a room full of people and, and sometimes it looks like there's nobody in the room but them. <laughs> yeah, look at each other. She started batting her eyes. He started looking back at her. Sometimes he'll whisper something to her and it ain't even funny, but she laughing. Most times. And the amazing thing is we look at that and we find that cute. I don't know about you, but when I can see that same couple who were in love 30 years from now, yeah. yes. still together, yeah. Amen. and still liking one another, yes. to me that then becomes yeah. amazing. Amen. It's amazing because, it's amazing because, uh, no doubt this couple, these people, have gone through some experiences. It's amazing because at some point, the things that were funny didn't become funny. And there were some points where she couldn't stand him. (laughs) Yes, amen. He couldn't stand her. Yes, yes. But through whatever they've gone through, Mr. Capon, they're still together. Amen, amen. I wonder this morning if there's anybody who, like me, can testify that you've gone some struggle. Yes. You've gone through some pains and, and when you first came to God, it was good. Yes. You were excited about worship. You were excited about coming in the presence of God. There was something about being in church but, but somewhere along the line, death came. Yeah. Somewhere along the line, trouble came. Somewhere along Oh, 
was because the way it was was not the way it was supposed to be. Amen. Y'all missed that. Amen. Sometimes the reason it falls apart is because the way it was is not the way God intended for it to be. But there ought to be somebody who says, God, I trust your plan. Yes. God, I trust the way that you do it. Yes. I trust God that you know what's best for me. Yes. And although my weary eyes cannot see, I learn to muster up a God I thank you anyway. Yes. Because I've had some good days. It's amazing how this works. 
You make up in your mind that you're not doing it anymore. I ain't doing it anymore. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I ain't doing it anymore. You got a job. Put some money up. Y'all know y'all do it. Come on. Stop looking at me like I'm crazy. Go say amen. That was the last time, last time. <laughs> then when they come around, mama. <laughs> he ain't gone. And there have been some things in our lives that we have committed ourselves that we're not going to do anymore. And all of those things are not bad things. But I came this morning in this very quick message to tell somebody that it's not time now to give up. I'm going to put a commercial music again. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Okay. What we do is we need to remember this. Please don't miss this. That the trials that you are going through right now are necessary for the successes of tomorrow. Yes. Because tomorrow's successes, mm -hmm. if there were no struggles, would many times prevent us from remaining humble. Amen. That's it. Amen. 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 Sometimes what God will do is he will allow us to experience some trouble. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 You ever been on a plane? And sometimes you'll get turbulence mm -hmm. on the plane. Mm -hmm. And the plane that was once high will start going down. Mm -hmm. I tell myself on every plane, cousin Dallas, don't you worry. I don't have to be intoxicated to get on this plane. Mm -hmm. Because where I left from, mm -hmm. I'm going to get safely. Come on, y'all. Don't miss this. Don't yeah. miss this. To my destination. Yes. Please listen to me today. Because God, although there is a pilot and a co-pilot, mm -hmm. I understand. Yes, sir. That you're still in charge. Yes. Amen. And so regardless of what I experience, the yes. reminder is you are faithful. Yes. And you will take care of yes. me. Yes. Amen. Regardless of the experience. Yes. I came this morning to tell somebody that you better learn how to endure despite the opposition. Yes. Endure despite the pain that is present. Endure despite the problems that persist. Make up in your mind that I serve a God who is able and well able to take care of me. Be not dismayed, whatever be time. It is God who will take care of you. Somebody this morning need to understand I can go through because I'm not going through by myself. I can go through the pain because I'm not doing myself. Yes. Is there anybody who knows that he's right there by my side? That he promised that he would never leave me. He promised that he would never forsake me. He promised that he'd be right there by my side. Yes. I heard David say, if I climb to the top of a mountain, God, you're there. If I make my bed in hell, God, you're there. Yes. Where can I go from the presence of the Lord? Listen, it may be on a mountain, 
even though you're there, you can take care of here, and you ain't even got to come here. Is there anybody who knows that all you got to do is speak a word? The word is you're here. The word is you're delivered. The word is you're set free. The word is he's able. Take care of you. Endure. Jesus opened blinded eyes. This 
same Jesus. And then the time would come. He was in the garden of Gethsemane. Isn't this amazing? It is, it is during prayer that he was apprehended. It is through personal time with the Father that he was arrested. Jesus said, who are you looking for? The Roman soldiers said, Jesus. Peter was there. Peter got a little territorial. Peter said, no, you ain't taking him. We leave him a little while longer. Peter took his sword out and cut the man's ear off. Watch this. And Jesus took the ear and mm -hmm. back on the man. Now, if I was a soldier, I'd have left. I can't find it. We couldn't find it. But instead, they took Jesus. They arrested him. Let him out of the east gate. Took Jesus to Pontius Pilate's house. Pilate questioned our Savior Jesus. Took off his clothes. Gave him a robe of purple. They took every hair in his beard and plucked it out. Gave him a crown of thorns and placed it on his head. Took a catamaran rope. I remember them switches that you tie together braid. Yeah. They took a rope and tied it together and beat our Savior Jesus. Beat it to the point of his flesh separated from his body. Then they took Pilate. Pilate and Herod were enemies. But Pilate took Jesus and sent him to Herod. You know, Jesus has a way of even making enemies be friends. Yes, yes, yes. Herod had been looking for Jesus all his life. Herod is the one that sent the wise men. Yes. Herod looked at him. Herod sent him back to Pilate. Pilate's wife said, listen, I was troubled in my sleep. This man that you were about to crucify has done no wrong. And you're going to, you're going to crucify an innocent man. Pilate had a mind to let Jesus go. Pilate said, I tell you what, it is our custom to let a convicted felon go before the Passover. He said, so I tell you what, I'll give you Barabbas. We'll crucify Barabbas, brother, and we'll let Jesus go. He said, no, give us Barabbas. Crucified Jesus. Barabbas was let go free. His record was sealed, expunged, and Barabbas to go on and live. But Jesus, cross, is put on his back. Listen to me today, y'all. I know you know this story, but hear it. The more you hear it, the more it should resonate with you. Wood. Jesus cross was laid on the ground. The same bloody, battered, emotionally drained Jesus was laid on the cross, on the ground. Nails through his hands. Top skin. Under skin. Veins and capillaries. Think about it. The nail went in and kicked him out. And the nail had to be long enough to not only go through his hand, but to keep him attached to the cross. Hallelujah. And then when they got done with one, he did the other. Took his feet. Had to break his feet. Then one foot could go in front of the other foot. And both feet could be put on the cross. They riveted his feet. This nail has to not only go through one foot and through the other, but then through that one and to the cross. The pain of the nails was enough. But then to think that cross was picked up. You know what happens when you pick the cross up? Shifting begins to happen. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Yes. They lifted the cross. I hear Jesus saying, Oh, preacher, if you think I'm going to fight you, nail my hand. Mm -hmm. If you think I'm going to run, nail my feet. It was all right when they nailed his hands. It was all right when they ripped his feet. But Jesus said, if I be lifted up,
why he said that? Because he knew that when they lifted him up, hallelujah, yes. he was going to die. Yes. He also knew that when they lifted him up after he died, he knew he was going to be buried. Yes. Yes. Read it. Yes. They said, you might have not believed it was me while I was here. Yes. You might have not believed it was me while I hung. You might have not believed it was me when I was buried. Y'all know what he did, don't you? Yeah. What time was it? Hey. Yeah. Come on, y'all. What time was it? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. On the third day, yeah. the same Jesus yeah. that died and was crucified and buried yeah. rose triumphantly yeah. and declared that all power yes, from both heaven and earth is given his hands. Endure. Press on. Push through it. Yeah. Stop talking about it. Stop talking about it. Brother McCree is coming. As he comes. He preached a message to me the other day. Didn't even though he was preaching to me. I guess it's, it's public now. I can say it. My mother's getting ready to retire. She tired of that job. She tired of it. And truthfully, we tired of hearing about it. I mean, it's bad. You can tell the whole story now. I gotta do this, I gotta do that. And my dad, he preached a message the other day. He said, stop talking about it. He said, you're retiring. It's a few more months. You did it all these years. And you did. And now it's only about a month left. Just get up and go. And I thought it was me. But then I realized, no, it's not. No. Really, what he was saying was, you see the finish line. Yes. Yes. It's about to be over. Yes. And I need to tell somebody that real quick. I want to holler right now. Tell somebody. You see the finish line. It ain't going to be like this much longer. It ain't going to be like this much longer. I see the end of it. And so I can go through what I'm going through. Because after a while, and by and by, it's going to be over. Come on, let's go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
give me the strength.
misdiagnosis. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yeah, yeah. We did your blood work. Oh, we got it mixed up with some of Jesus. One thing about God, He don't get us mixed up. Nobody else. Amen. What God has for you, your healing is for you. Yes. Your blessing is for you. Yes. Your journey is for you. Yes. Can't nobody take your place. Can't nobody get your blessing. That's it. What God has for you is for you. So we thank and praise God for this. Amen. And we thank and praise God for the service. We thank and praise God for the message and the messenger. The devil tries to convince us that it's over. Mm -hmm. It's not over. Mm -hmm. He wants us to give up. Mm -hmm. To give in. That's it. To throw in the time. But I'm reminded of John P. Key says, Devil, I know you don't like me. <laughs> but I feel the same way about you. But I know a man that loves me too. And I love him. And his name is Jesus. Yes. And he loves us. Jesus. And that's why we should love him back. Yes, Jesus. Amen. This is one of the greatest treasures on this side of heaven. Amen. 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 One of the greatest pastors that God can ever do say that. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 God knows what's best for you. The best part about it, he knows the plans. That he has for your life. Just keep doing what it is. He said it best. And your mom is still listening to that. When you start out right, you'll end right. And none of us are perfect. Not at all. But we serve a perfect God. Amen. 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 Won't you stand to your feet? I know the I know the mothers as this young man in the chair. I know a mother today, any mother, fathers, but I know a mother today. No matter how old your child is, when your child hurts, the mother hurts. Amen. Amen.
We ask God you made us all and you know all about us. God, we ask you today, God, that you just send us. Where will we? Fill us up where we have been torn down over and over again. Continue, God, to work on us from the inside out. Continue, God, to change us from what we say. Change us from what we do. Change us from how we act. Give us a new walk, Christ. God, we pray that when we leave this place today, God, Go back to our places of sin. We pray, God, that you continue to surround our homes. Continue to surround our neighborhoods. We pray, God, that you continue to put up the hedge of protection of the enemy. We pray, God, that you bless those that are sick. Bless those that have thorns in their side. Pray for those, God, that are in the hospital. Someone will plan on having surgery tomorrow. Someone will go to trial tomorrow. Someone will be evicted from their home tomorrow. And someone will not wake up in the morning. But even in all that, God, we realize that you have all power yes, sir. Yes, in your hands. Yes, sir. We realize, God, that you, so you see all and you know all and you can take care of all. And God, that's why we serve you. We realize today that, God, you can do more with our problems, our issues, and our situations than we can. So God, we ask you just to continue, God, to be in our lives. Continue to bless us through everything that we go through. Everything that we require, God, we ask you that you bless us. I pray today, God, that anyone here today, God, that had heavy hearts, that something in the message and the messengers sit on your heart today, that Give you a realization that God can fix whatever you're going through. But you gotta trust Him. You got to know, and you got to know that you know that you know that God will fix it. We pray for those again, God, that man in the hospital. I ask you to touch him right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody one today, God, that he even looking at us on social media. Now I pray today that you just raise your hands right where you are. And a simple prayer that God, I need you to fix it. Because I realize, God, if you don't fix it, it won't get fixed. God, we thank you for those behind the prison walls. Bless them, God, when they are released and return back to society, turn back to their families, turn back to their communities. We pray God that they're better than when they left. Better men, better women, better young men, better young women. We bless you for today, God. We thank you for this church. We thank you for our surrounding churches. Continue to bless us, God, and we'll be blessed. Continue to keep us, and we'll be kept. God, if you continue to deliver us and set us free, we'll be delivered and set free. We thank you, God, today for all that we've heard, all that we've seen. Bless someone maybe past today that didn't come in. That they heard something that will turn around. And again, we pray, God, for those people through the week that lay around our church, that sleep on the front steps of this church. 
those that sleep in the back by air conditioning units and those that sleep on the other side of the fence on the ground covered up in leaves we pray God should bless you we thank you today God that that's not our story but I believe today God even if that was our story we still will give you praise yes God because we realize God trouble don't last always continue to bless the homeless continue to bless the sick yes God continue to bless the less fortunate yes God and that we take it lightly God that that could be us but we thank you today thank you that we're in this place. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you, God, for what thank you're doing you. in our lives. Thank you. Any guests today, God, we ask you to bless them. We pray, God, that they will return again. We pray, God, that something will said again that will bless them the rest of the day, the rest of the week, and the rest of their lives. God, we thank you today. We love you, and we appreciate you. It is so in Jesus' name we pray. Jesus name. Amen. 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 Amen.
for coming in. Um, we have uh, two deacons today, and so what we're going to do is we're going to ask as we did for Easter, uh, the ushers will come to your pew mm-hmm. and they're going to uh, escort you around to get it. If you are unable to stay, it's fine, but we're done with the march and we'll bring it to you at that time. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 says, For I have received of the Lord, that which also I delivered unto you, the Lord Jesus, the same night which he betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. It is due in your office. It is due in remembrance of me. After the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament in my blood. This is due as often as you do in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Wherefore, wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord unworthily shall be guilty of the body and the blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. And so let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that eat it and drink it unworthily, he that drink it damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. But this cause many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. For when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brother, when you come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that you come not together into condemnation. And the rest, when I sit in order, when I come. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23 through 34, we know the word of the Lord is already blessed. And may us with the same thing. Oh, it's bad. 
All been served. Amen. Anybody that's just going to raise your hand? Anybody around can help you? Bible records that Jesus took bread, he broke it, he blessed it and said, take, eat, this is my body, which is broken for you. Let's do it, remember it's me. Eat the bread. In the same manner also, he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is in the New Testament, by blood. This do ye as often as you do, remember it's me. Can we drink the cup? For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show the Lord's death to the come. This may be my last time. This may be my last time. This may be my last time. May be the last time. I don't know. It may be the last time. We're all here together. May be the last. Others, God will bless you. 
I am just under the persuasion and belief that someone is going to come to this church and it's going to be a tremendous blessing to this church. But we got to be in a position where we are being a blessing to others. And sometimes what we do is we come to church and we do everything, we raise the money, we kind of stuff, and talk for the church. And then, but let's be honest. And then the world is in trouble. People need help. So we got to do our best and we do this month. And we're going to pay. We're going to pay some rent. We're going to pay some mortgage payments. We're going to pay some light bills. We're going to pay some water bills. And we're going to get our more gas cars. Amen. And we're going to be a blessing and to cancer research. And what's the share? We're going to be a, a blessing to uh, institutes of higher learning, to schools. We're going to do it. And then so far, we have about $9,000 raised. Amen. 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 I thank God for that. And I believe that man, by the third Sunday, and then that number is going to increase. So I'm going to ask you as you're giving, giving in your offerings, God bless you. And if you have not done so, some of us have made pledge amounts. And then come on, make sure you're assuring up your pledge amounts. And then see some point, and then about certain things as it relates to that. And then also make sure you see, uh, make sure you are uh, putting your money in envelopes and you uh, labeling them. And then church anniversary or whatever you're giving towards. But let's be a blessing. Amen? Amen. Anybody with me on that? Yeah. Amen. 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 Let's be a blessing. I got some people crying. Amen. We praise God for that. Amen. You might be the one blessed. Amen. Just let me know. Amen. So let's be a blessed life. Come on, that's what we're giving. God, we thank you. We bless you for the offering and the givers. We pray, oh God, that you will bless us to be a blessing to someone else. Help us, strengthen us, keep us as only you can. And I pray, God, that you help us to give not grace or necessity, but God, you love a cheerful giver. We thank you. We bless you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen.
Right, don't forget on Wednesday our church school hour at 9 o'clock. Oh, phew. Okay, on Wednesday our prayer meeting at 6 o'clock. Cook in there if you want. Prayer meeting at 6 o'clock and our Bible study at 6 30. I want to one more time um, applaud our senior mission our president, uh, Daniel, and her staff. Look at that absolutely beautiful. Uh, uh, Mother Day brunch. And although I was almost uh, struck down by a vehicular homicide um, person, we won't say their name. Uh, they sit over there in that section. Uh, Y'all might know uh, Nurse Rachel. Come on. <laughs> Good morning, church. Good morning. On behalf of the senior mission, I would we would like to again say thank you for everyone who came out. Thank yes. you, thank you, thank you. Yes. Yes. Because without you all, it would not have been a success. Yes. And my bit, I started this two years ago. Yes. We had to be shut down mm -hmm. for two years because of COVID. Yeah. And my mm -hmm. vision was for the ladies to come out, enjoy themselves. Just let everything that you normally do on Saturday morning, let it go and come out. Yeah. And as I walked around the room, I seen a lot of people sitting with different people that they usually don't sit with in church. And I, that's what I really want. Mm -hmm. But I have a few special things. When we were putting together our program, we wanted someone to do a song. And I said, well, I'm going to ask the new lady in the choir. I didn't know her name at that time. But Sister Tanya, again, thank you. <laughs> And she kept asking me, what kind of sandwiches? I say, anything you want to make, because I know it's going to be good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and also, Sister Pam Watts and her daughter, they came down and said, <laughs> Shades of pink. She kept trying to text me her centipede. I said, don't show me nothing. Just <laughs> <laughs> and also, a big thank you to Mr. Eddie Capar. God bless you. 